Hi, and welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John Skippy. Lim cool. Glad to have you with me. We are going to be doing an installation for Omnisphere 2 support video. This is a fast one. Okay, I'm sure over here's all the libraries that I sell that will work in Omnisphere 2. Right now, Basebox has some issues because Omnisphere 2 has some revisions in the way patches are accessed, some tags, all that kind of stuff has been modified. So if you're having issues with Basebox, it's known and it's gonna get fixed and all customers will get a free download of the revised version of the library. The other libraries, there will also be revisions and free downloads, I think, to everybody when they get done. Um, but I wanna show you how to install it because I have customers sending questions to me about installation. So let's, let's cover it real quick. First of all, Omnisphere 2 has the directories where you go to the patch browser. Right here, you would normally see third-party libraries if you have any installed. In most cases, I've, I've gotten notes from a couple of customers have had issues, but in most cases, existing libraries will show up and should work just as they are. Um, but the effects racks, where you normally would click here and you'd see a set of plugin Guru effects, those don't show up. And also, uh, the envelope presets that come with Omniverse, and the arpeggiator presets that come with uh, Omniverse don't show up. That's because there's a new place to put them. So let me show you where that is. Let's do this, let's hide. Go to your desktop, go to Macintosh HD, or you need to find your Steam folder. Hopefully by now, if you have third-party libraries, you know where your Steam folder is. Uh, on the Mac, the standard place is to go um, Macintosh HD, library, application support, find Spectrosonics, and then normally you would find the folders here if it's on your, if it's installed into your system, your Macintosh HD hard drive. I had it installed to an external hard drive, so it's normally actually over here on Sample Tank. So you just double click Steam and it will go to Omnisphere and to the Settings Library. This is where we're going to be hanging out for a minute. So there's Patches. This is where you normally put all the libraries, and there they are. I've put them there. Presets is normally where the arpeggiator effect and envelope presets that I've made for some of my libraries go. They don't go there anymore. There's now a folder called user. And you can see all these are showing up as a separate set for user. So if the arpeggiator folder has the plugin guru folder, just move it to the user arpeggiator folder. Same with effects. If the plugin guru effect rack is here in the racks folder, just select that and move that to the user effects. Scroll down to the racks folder. It would go in here. Doesn't exist yet, so let's put it one in there. Let's go. I think Omnichill has the effects racks, right? So let's take this and drag this to the racks in the effects. So those are there. And I'm going to open up Omniverse 2. Here's the patches. This is the earlier version of the effects racks. I'm gonna revise all the libraries. They're all gonna come with the effects racks so everybody has the effects racks because they're fun to use and everybody should have them. So don't worry if you don't have them. If you have the old version, you will shortly have the new version. Um, and Omniverse is where we have the uh, ARPs, right? So you go over here. You don't go to the normal uh, location that you put things here. You need to go to the user Omniverse ARPS goes into the user arpeggiator. Guru envelopes goes into the envelope preset folder. Okay. And I think that's pretty much it. Base box, like I said, is kind of busted. So I'm going to get that fixed as soon as I can. That's what happens when you have software updates. Sometimes things kind of go a little not working at the moment, but they will be soon. Okay. So that's where it is. Presets, user. This is where you will find the folders that you put third-party presets from anybody. And by doing that, I'm going to pause with the magic of technology because I have to quit logic and I have to restart and I'll come right back and everything will show up like it's supposed to. So let's pause and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Did you miss me? Now, if you click into directory, ba ba ba. There are the libraries, just like they're supposed to. So you can say, I'm going to chill, and uh, they're all here, ready to go. 
Now, if you go to the effects, and you click right here, talking group effects racks. Again, every library is going to come with these in the update I'm going to send to everybody. Because it's fun to have those to play with to quickly set up. It's very nice. If you go over here to envelopes, and you click right here, at the bottom, here are the envelopes from Omniverse. And there's also the arpeggiator presets. Go down to the bottom of the list. That's at the bottom. Uh, and you'll find the Guru Omniverse ARPs. These come with Omniverse. So Omniverse 1 is the one that has those presets. A number of the other libraries have the effects racks. Okay? And there you go. That is where you find... So you go Library, Application Support, Sonics, Steam, Omnisphere, Settings, not patches, but into the presets, to the user folder. All right, that's where they go. That's what's up. Sometime later this week, I have a really fun thing coming up for Omniverse 2. So, I will see you soon. Thanks.